Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs and the Rebels are both on the field as we take a live look at what's going on as Mississippi State and Ole Miss get set to square off in the Egg Bowl. Why the Trophy looks like an egg. Somebody's going to have their hearts broken today. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. given to the winner of the game referred to as the Egg Bowl. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Bush has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. From the seven, he's out to the 30. Brought down at the 34. Well, from that, they walked up on campus to recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. out of bounds at about the 35. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. Fires out to his wideout and he hits him hard at the 47. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Here we go! He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. That'll bring up 39. Fires right side, got his tailback. Brought down at the 39. Davis takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 39 yard line. Fourth down. The defense, everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. At the corner. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Slings it. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Let's go. 
He's at midfield. The ball pops free. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. Tackle at the 41-yard line. The defense almost got a gift on that play. They were attacking the ball very hard on that play. And the running back just made a mistake. And he lost the football. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Mississippi State's feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Record-breaking performance a week ago, that's great, but they got to put that in the rearview mirror and get back to work today. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Feeling the pressure and he fumbles the football. Picked up by the linebacker. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Quick out to his receiver. Very good tackle in space. so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. He scrambled, and he can't get away from the pressure. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. with room to work. And down he goes at the 17-yard line. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Play number nine of this current drive. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. Larry, Larry. Up. 50, 50, 50. Okay. 
just like that. Just like that. So at the end of one quarter, now this one's scoreless. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 50-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Ole Miss kicks this one off. Gathered in at the 6. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. From their own 31 yard line. Third down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 38. That's a game of ten. That brings him second and one. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's a handoff up the middle, and no room to run. Long awaits the snap. Well, I tell you, it takes some real skill to kill the ball that close to the goal line. Great job by the punter. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Ole Miss is up by a touchdown. And they make the stop at the three. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. And they'll get him in the backfield. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. It's third down. They've got their backs against the wall. Two tight, two tight. Four down, four down. Watch, watch number 86. And he's taken down at the 12. around the 13-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Here we go! And 
and he's stopped behind the line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 12 yard line. Nice run up the middle. Madsen gains about five yards on the run. The Bulldogs use their second timeout. Simmons to punt. And he's tackled at the 45. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle. That's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed just one or two plays. Quick strike, and he drops it. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and ten. From the 45-yard line, second down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Here comes the pressure. He airs it out. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss is up seven. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to go for the home run. Can't connect. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Taken back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's third and 13. Ball on their own 17. He fights forward to about the 19. The running back gets two on the carry. Mississippi State will use their final timeout. Brown is back to receive. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Caught out in the open. Brought down at the 26. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the twenty-six. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big-time advantage over any defense. The spike will stop the clock. That brings him second and goal. 
Second down, goal to go. Ball on the four-yard line. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 52-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. Bush has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Madsen takes from the 10. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He heaves it deep. And it's caught. And a huge touchdown play. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. He makes the PAT. We've still got a half of football remaining. Ole Miss's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. we got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From the seven. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> Exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Set, blue 14, blue 14. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> 
He makes his way to about the 45. Call the game 12 yards. Ball, 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 ball. That makes it first and 10. Ready, ready. Strike to his receiver, no good. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down him. That makes it second and ten. From the 45-yard line, second down. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. It's a short kick. Madsen fields it at the 24, and down he goes at the 23. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. I agree, Brad. That was very well defended. You knew that return was doomed as soon as he put his hands on the ball. With the field as messy as it is, he wasn't going anywhere. From their own 23-yard line, it's first down. There's a strike complete. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39. Miss is up a score. Slings it. And down he goes at the 45 yard line. Makes it out to about the 29. That's good for a game of the yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Up top! Oh my God! 36! 36! They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Close. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 45. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He fights forward to about the 46. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside. Defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First and five. Ball on the 50-yard line. Ready! 
He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Check curls, check curls, check curls. He's taken down at about the 41. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. It's second and 13. Ball on the 41. Let's go. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. Zips it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. From the 34 yard line, it's second down. Watch out here. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds around the 11-yard line. First down. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. The fourth quarter is going to decide who wins this low-scoring affair. The Rebels with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Complete. He's got room. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. He's tackled at the one. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Ole Miss is up by a touchdown. They give to the tailback. He makes his way to about the 18. complete he's got space to work brought down around the 33 yard line incomplete and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world well I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that 
from their own 33-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Well, that's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Brown makes it at the 33. Tackle at the 40. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. That makes it seven and ten. Here's a run. And he is drilled at the 41. the catch and gets out of bounds. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 24. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws middle of the tight end. Tackle around the 18 yard line. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Looks middle, got his back. They'll get him for a loss. So we're looking at another third down here. Screen here, and the halfbacks got it. They'll drop in for a loss. 